Hi guys, good morning, how are you? Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video because um, this morning, actually twice this week, things haven't gone to plan for me. And um, I've had to, you know, like today I had to take um, Ronan off to school because um, I slept in, which means that everyone sleeps in, so it all went to shit this morning. Um, and things like that do happen, right? So. I don't let things, I try not to let things bother me. So I get on with the job, do what I've got to do and move on, right? But I do know that some people don't do that. So they'll say someone upsets them or they wake up, you know, they're upset or the kids are grumpy and shitty and, um, you know, that upsets you and they're ruining your day. I want to know if it does ruin your day and can you just move on, right? So have you learned the skills to just, you know, it's not your problem if someone's shitty or... You know, if things go wrong, yeah, you just got to bounce, right? You, you really have to because you can't afford to be stewing on shit. Some, maybe someone said something thoughtless and then you stewed on that all day um, or it just really ruined your day. I just want to know how you recover because recovering and moving on is probably more important than the struggle itself. So I think that is something worth working on if that is something that happens to you. Sorry, Oscar's run off to a bloody minibus of people <laughs> I'm gonna have to hop off the phone I think because now I'm gonna have to get him away from them Come on. I'm sure everyone loves Oscar the dog Oscar thinks so anyway but yeah I just wanted to bring that up because that is important right so you can and I have been you know, many times I've had to bounce and move on and many times things have ruined my day but it is a perception right it's all in your head as to how you let things in, how you perceive things, of what you do after the fact that something's gone wrong. So obviously you can't control everybody else. You can't control what they say, what they do. All you can control is what, how you respond and how you recover, how you think about it, how you perceive it, right? If there's a problem. And there's always going to be stuff that doesn't go to plan. Like, hello, that's life. So you just have to work out your system for getting through, right? And not stewing and not letting shit get to you and not letting people get to you as well. Um, learn that real quick because that's like a life skill <laughs> that you have to have, right? Same with the kids. I, I remember I couldn't get over stuff when the kids were really little, but I had to learn to get over that because I was a new mum. And they don't care. The kids don't care, right? They can be really thoughtless and do shit that makes shit that ruins your day um but you had to learn to just move on real quick right because there's no point holding on to that shit especially when some people don't even know that they've upset you that's the other thing some people don't even think about what they've said um and then you've stewed on it all day or you've been upset maybe someone at work has upset you um it's a real life skill to be able to just move on and not let that stuff bother you and not let people bother you, right? Because it's not your problem if they're shitty. It's not your problem if, if um, I don't know, maybe something's, the kids are shitty, something's happened, right? It's not personal. It's like, um, like, like I've learned over the time with, um, with children with anxiety too. And, and I've got two Aspie boys, so it's not an easy thing. You do have to bounce, right? You have to learn to just not make it your issue and not take it personally i think that's probably the biggest tip not take anything personally um if someone's horrible to you it's not your problem it's not your problem what they think of you either like you don't care so you've got to get to a point where you don't actually care what people think in that regard obviously you've got your own standards you've got your own um way that you want to show up your own way that you want to behave and the way you want to be seen but really you have to be happy with that so if you're changing yourself to make someone else happy because you're worried about what they might think of you then that's not on. that's crap you don't need to change yourself but um you need to not take things personally but the the tip was today because I, I like i said i had to drive one to school um the other day i drove um someone's laptop to school so i'm cutting them some slack being early in the piece you know one at high school uh, sorry two at high school that first first year one of one first year so i just don't let things bother me and ruin my day that's the key don't let things ruin your day and i know that some people can't recover from stuff when things go wrong or maybe their family shit to them or whatever um or someone that works 
annoys them at whatever. Because I just wanted to say this because I thought that was an important, important, um, important message, important message to have, right? To say that if you if you're letting your mood ruin your day, it's a perception and it's a mindset, and you have to work on that stuff. Same as if you're letting um, other people's issues, your issues, and ruining your day that way too. Or just when things don't go right, you just have to. I don't know, I know we have to suck it up a little bit, but it's all a perception. So if you can work on the way that you're looking at things and the way that you're moving on, the way you're recovering, that is really important for your sanity, right? For your sanity, your health, letting things go, um, staying calm, lowering stress, reducing overwhelm, all of that is a mindset thing, right? So if you can master that, um, then you're on fire. So let me know if you need help with that have a chat about where you're at and if you're not letting go of stuff that really isn't your problem or you're letting people affect your mood and you're stewing on and keeping that mood all day and ruining what you appear to be ruining your day or how you view it as ruining your day then let me know okay